What's up guys, Kevin Early Bros back at you with episode 4 of our unboxing the Lego castle. The most gigantic haul you've ever seen, I guarantee, on eBay uh, at one time. As you can see, we are rebuilding the boxes of the Lego castle with the open boxes, so if you guys do want to check out any of those sets, those are in the previous videos, go ahead and look back at those. If you do like Lego unboxing or Lego in general, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We are doing hauls very frequently. Uh, we're going to be making a whole bunch of videos for this particular series, but I'm also doing other videos on a pretty much four, three or four times a week uh, basis. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified for the next one of this series. Uh, we'll be releasing these maybe once every day or two when they come out. Uh, we do have some sealed ones here, uh, so I don't know what exactly is in these. Some of the other ones we were stacking up so that I could kind of tell already what they were. Uh, but these ones were already sealed uh, by the people, so let's go ahead and dive into this and we will get started here. Also comment below what your favorite set of this particular video was, and I'll comment below uh, and respond to your comments anyways. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we have in here. Looks like we're starting off with Star Wars. We do have a sealed, which way does it go? This way. Sealed 4504 Millennium Falcon. One of the newer, older uh, Millennium Falcons out there. You had the one, I think, before this that was like the little discs, like the UFO discs. I think this is the second oldest, if I'm not mistaken, uh, of that series. It looks like we did have a flap on here as well that shows a sweet looking poster uh, of some sets that were sold at that time. So it looks like they were doing the uh, little flap on the boxes up until just a little while ago. Uh, this set itself uh, came out, let that load here, um, in, oops, that's not it. What set of numbers is this? 4504. Doesn't say how many pieces. Oh, it does say how many pieces. This is 985 pieces. Uh, they've done a lot of Millennium Falcon builds. Um, I don't know where this ranks on a lot of people's lists because it's definitely the most or the least detailed of all of the newer ones. Uh, obviously, those have quite a bit more detail. Looks like this came in two boxes as well. Uh, they had a tr original trilogy box. Uh, and a redesigned blue box. This is obviously not a blue box, so I'm guessing that that is the original trilogy, uh, which came out in 2003. So this one is about 15, 16 years old uh, at this moment. But a cool set nonetheless. It looks like they did have different sets on the back as well. They had the old uh, Mos Eisley with the old printed arm Greedo uh, in there, which I've never seen that before, where they actually featured other sets on the back instead of just information on this set. Looks like they actually had an alternate build of an Imperial Star Destroyer or something like that uh, on there too, which is super cool. So the older sets, I think they put a lot more work into in terms of making that kind of art and design different sets and stuff like that, or different builds. Next up, we have one of the my favorite sets that I never actually got sealed before. So this is the first time I've actually gotten it sealed. Uh, this is R2-D2. I think it's sealed anyways. Uh, this is 10225 for ages 16 plus. This was the UCS version of R2. He stands about this tall, uh, and it is a great build. I've had it a couple times where I've gotten to build it. This actually might be used because I used to use tape on there. So I might get to build him again. We'll see. But this is a, a wonderful build, one of my favorite characters in Star Wars altogether. Uh, so it's really cool to get him in a big form. So if you guys haven't checked that one out, definitely would recommend the build. It is a great set. Next along the line here, we do have the Brick Bank. This is 10251. It consists of 2,380 pieces. And this one was made, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, one. Let's see if this one is sealed or not. This one does look like it is completely open. Open. Yeah, so it looks like we do get to build this one as well. Uh, this one was one part of the modular series, uh, so you could hook them all up to in one another. This one was made in 2016, so not an old set specifically. Uh, the collector that I bought it from was building up until just recently, and then he decided to stop, so. Try to get all these on the desk here. That is our first box of three for this video. Uh, this next one, let's take a look at what's inside here. So we have three more sets here. This first one is the 10244 Fairground Mixer. Uh, this one looks like it is opened as well. So we will get to build that. It looks like there is a power function set up that you can do 
uh, right there where you can actually make this thing spin because it does look like it is just a, a couple uh, little rides here with a truck that can actually pull the ride, which is super cool. It's a little fairground set. Uh, this one was 1,746 pieces for ages 16 and up. And I think this one came out recently too. This one was... I'm not really super familiar with all the creator sets of the town stuff because I mostly did Star Wars and, and that kind of stuff here. Uh, this was 2014, so this is relatively new here as well. Next up, we do have the Mine 4204. A little bit of an older set, you can sell it, see by the little bit of an older design there. This was 748 pieces uh, for ages 6 to 12. I don't know if they've done any other mines. I think this is the only mine that they've done so far. Uh, but you can see that this also has a whole bunch of alternate builds and stuff like that on the back. Uh, this one, I think, was a little bit older. Just by the set number, uh, you can usually tell. Not always. Sometimes they surprise you uh, with those kind of things in terms of making a really low number be kind of more recent. Uh, but this one, it looks like, was from 2012. That's not, not too old. Uh, about seven years old there. It does say city, so I guess that's kind of a giveaway. So that's one of those examples where it's a low number. A relatively recent set. And here we also have the Parisian restaurant going along with the modular series. This was also an expert build. Uh, 2,469 pieces for ages 16 and up. All these modular ones were pretty detailed, I believe. So ultimately that's why they, the age kind of went up there uh, for that. But I'm sure there's probably been some kids that have built them as well. Modules were never really my thing, but I know some people really got into it. Uh, and a lot of these have a tremendous amount of detail. Uh, as you can see on the back there, they have all of the um, things that you can build and things that are actually inside uh, of the detailed parts of the restaurant. They put a little, couple of little scenes and stuff like that there. This one was built in 2014, or maybe 2014, and I believe this one is open. Uh, so we'll be able to rebuild that as well. That does it for our second box. We have one more box to go in this video. And let's take a look at what is in here. Trying not to cut the boxes as he stored them very well. Took up almost an entire garage when we went and picked these up. It was an adventure for sure. All right, this is huge. First up, we do have a Technic set. This is the Mobile Crane 8421 for ages 11 to 16. This does have an enormous flap on the box as well. Looks like it actually did have a motor that you could put up there, so I don't know if the crane was motorized or just the truck itself was motorized. We'll have to take a look at that. I believe this one is opened, maybe, possibly not. Actually, it looks like it may be not opened. Yeah, this one actually looks like it's completely sealed. Um, so that is kind of crazy. You never see these giant Technic sets very often, especially when in sealed form. Um, so a lot of them get up pretty high in value. Uh, which was what was really cool about this collection is that most of them were were things that you just don't see very often anymore, especially in sealed state. Um, so definitely jumped on the offer, even though it was going to be super expensive. This was made in 2005, so about 15 years old on this guy, uh, and he is enormous. That is a very, very, very large Lego box. Next we have here, oh, one of the original modulars. We do have Cafe Corner here as well. This one actually is, I think this is the one that is sealed. There are two of these in this collection. Uh, one of them is sealed, one of them is not. Uh, I believe this is the sealed one. This is set 10182. It is 2,056 pieces. I don't remember when this one came out, but I believe this was the very first uh, modular building that they ever did. It started off all the modulars, everybody really loved it, and then it became a thing. So. They kept going along with these. I think this one and Green Grocer were the first two, but I think this one was, was definitively the first one. It was made in 2007, so it's about 12 years old. Um, and in terms of builds, I mean, definitely a really cool front. The collector I uh, spoke with said that the inside is not super decorated, which is why he didn't build both of them. He left one of them sealed. As you can see back there, we do have the ways that you can put it together if you have two of them, I guess, uh, to make like a giant hotel. Um, I'm guessing you just add layers to it, which is kind of cool. So that is definitely one of the fan favorites in terms of value. That's probably the highest of all of these. Well, actually, definitely the highest of all these. 
And next, we have a really cool set. This is the Volkswagen Beetle. Uh, 10187. This was 1626 pieces for ages 16 and up because uh, this was an advanced set as well. On the back here, you can see a little bit more in detail. They have even the interior and everything like that. This one in particular, let's take a look when this one was made. 287. I think this kind of started off, I don't know if this was the first one, but this is 2008. So I'm thinking this one might have been one of the earlier ones to start off a whole bunch of the big car builds um, where they have like the Porsches and sports cars, Bugatti, stuff like that. Um, but this is one of the more iconic cars um, that you see, the Volkswagen Bug. So that will do it. It'll just have a little plaque here as well, kind of like a UCS plaque, which is really cool. Uh, there's a picture of it up there. So you can get that. Um, but yeah, super cool sets in here. Cafe Corner, obviously the most valuable of all of them. I would say the coolest one, R2-D2, in terms of my opinion. Comment below what your favorite set of this particular haul, uh, of this massive haul was, uh, and I will catch you guys on the next one.